You look like you want to talk to me. Yeah, I've got something brilliant for you. Go on then. Um, you might not know this, but uh, one of the biggest dour arguments they've been making about um, the science of Hadith. If you go on the Isnad website, yeah. uh, Isnad website, it's a Muslim website, the Isnad website, you will see just how, just how little biographical information they have in their chains of narration. Oh yeah. Oh, you already know this. Oh, I know. This is one of the reasons why I, I'm not sucked into this whole logic about the science of the hadiths proves that our hadiths are reliable. Because the reality is that all of it started 200 years after Muhammad's death. And all you've got is a list of names with tiny bits of information. And you have no way of verifying that you know who you're talking about. Or even if someone hasn't just copied a list and stuck it onto any old hadith. Yeah, I mean, they talk about biographical information, and it makes you, it makes it sound, oh, they've got volumes on this one and that one. No, we all fell for it. Yeah. We've all fallen for it. It's a load of nonsense. There, there are people on it which have the, which have a title on it that means valiant, which kind of means that they're supposed to be like the top guys, tacky or something yeah. like that, right? And it, it's literally, they've got a sentence next to their name, or a paragraph, half a page. And you copy and paste the Arabic onto Google Translate. It tells you so little, so little. I, I, I've, got, I've got a funny one for you. I've got a funny one for you. Sahih al Bukhari, in his hadith compilation of Sahih hadith, appears in his own chain, in his own book, as one of the providers of hadiths. At, at this point, nothing will surprise me about this. So, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Right. So. That is. You didn't know that. I should tell you. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. No, I mean, the science of hadiths is, is a bogus science. Yes. And, it, and it's just wrapped up in lots of catchphrases that the dumb and the gullible will accept without questioning. You know, David Wood, he yeah. calls it the 99 non one rule. A Muslim will make a claim, 99 people will just accept it, only one of them bother to check it. <laughs> But the ones that check it find that a lot of what Muslims say is actually false. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It is very windy. I've wanted to... I want to ask Muslims a, a, a question. Are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah. 